Hello mathematicians! Today we're going to be learning about two-step equations and in these equations we're going to have operations such as multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So here I have a problem 2x plus 12 is equal to 38. So remember that our goal is to isolate x. We want to find the value of x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get x by itself. And if we look here, we have 2x, so we're going to leave that alone, plus 12 is equal to 38. So the first thing that I could do is get rid of the plus 12. And in order to do so, I'm going to use the inverse additive property. And what that means is I'm going to take 12, add negative 12 to it, and that cancels out. Now remember that adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting, so you could either add negative 12 or simply subtract by 12 on both sides. So if I subtract by 12 on the left side, I have to do the same thing and subtract by 12 on the right side. So now 12 minus 12 cancels out, that's 0. On the left side I'm left with 2x. And on the right side, I have 38 minus 12. 8 minus 2 is 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. So 2x is equal to 26. Now, I know that 2x is the same thing as 2 times x. So what I could do is I could divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1x, or simply x. And then whatever I do on the left side, I have to do on the right side. So 26 divided by 2 is 13. So here I have x is equal to 13. And if I wanted to go back and check my work, all I'd have to do is substitute. So 2 times 13 plus 12. 2 times 13 is 26 plus 12 is equal to 38. So that's how I know I did my work correctly. So in the next problem here, I have negative 3x plus negative 5 is equal to 37. And same thing, our goal is to isolate our x to find the value of x. And since I'm adding a negative, in order to get rid of this negative 5, I could add 5 to it because remember, negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0, and they cancel each other out. So, if I want to get rid of this negative 5, I have to add 5. Don't let the plus sign confuse you. So if I add 5 to the left side, I have to add 5 to the right side. And so this cancels out. And here, I'm left with negative 3x is equal to... 37 plus 5, so if 7 plus 5 is 12, 1 plus 3 is 4. So here I have negative 3x is equal to 42. And in order to get rid of that, I have to divide both sides. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And so here I have negative 3x divided by negative 3, which is simply 1, so 1x, or I could simply write x, is equal to negative, um, sorry, 42 divided by negative 3. And so what we'd have to do is we would have to divide, and I know that a positive divided by a negative is going to equal a positive, uh, sorry, a negative, so it's going to be negative. And 42 divided by negative 3 is negative 14. Because 14 times 3 is equal to 42, and that's a negative. So positive divided by a negative is a negative. And if I wanted to go back and check my work, I would have to substitute negative 14 for x. So negative 3 times negative 14 plus negative 5. And so I know that 14 times 3 is 42, and a negative times a negative is a positive, 
And if I added negative 5 to 42, I would get 37. So this is true. Now in my next problem here, I have negative 12 plus 5x is equal to negative 82. And remember, we want to isolate our x, so I'm going to leave the 5x alone. In order to get rid of this negative 12, I have to add 12. And whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. And so negative 12 plus 12 cancels out. On the left, all I'm left with is 5x is equal to. Now here I have a negative 82 and a positive 12. So because the signs are opposite, we're going to subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. 8 minus 1 is 7. So we're going to subtract, and now we're going to keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which in this case is negative 82, so this is going to be negative 70. And in order to get x by itself, I have 5 times x here is equal to negative 70. So I'd have to divide both sides by 5. Five divided by five is one. One x is the same thing as x is equal to, now negative 70 divided by five. I know this is a negative and this is a positive and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And negative 70 divided by five is negative 14. And so again, if I wanted to check my work, I would have to substitute for x. So negative 12 plus 5 times negative 14, so negative 12 plus 5 times negative 14 is negative 70, and negative 12 plus negative 70 is negative 82, and so I know my answer is right because I went back and checked it. And lastly, we have negative 21 minus 4x is equal to negative 5. So here I do have negative 21, so in order to get rid of that, I have to add 21 on both sides. And so here, negative 21 and positive 21 cancel out. I'm left with negative 4x on the left side is equal to, now I have negative 5 here and positive 21. Since the signs are opposite, I'm going to subtract. And so 21 minus 5 is actually 16. And since the number with the greatest absolute value is 21 and that's positive, my answer is positive 16. And now remember our goal is to isolate our x. So negative 4x is the same thing as negative 4 times x. And in order to get rid of that negative 4, we have to divide both sides by negative 4. And so here, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. And 1x is the same thing as x. So x is equal to 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. Because a positive divided by a negative is a negative. And now if I wanted to go back and check my work, all I would have to do is substitute. So I have negative 21 minus 4 times negative 4. And so negative 21, so minus 4 times negative 4, this becomes minus negative 16. I know that two negatives next to each other, a negative times a negative is a positive, so it's negative 21 plus 16. And since our signs are opposite, we're going to subtract and keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. 21 minus 16 is 5, and the number with the greatest absolute value is negative, so my answer is going to be negative 5. And so because this is true, this is how we know that x is equal to negative 4. And that's it.